everybody. Here I'm going to show you how to make a triple single. So yeah, <coughs> I'm sorry. We don't need any to adjust any parts of the loom. Just so yeah, you have to start out by placing a band. Do not go this way. Go this way. Yeah. Now what you're gonna do is uh, place your next band just going forward. I'm gonna show you just two more times and then I'm going to fast forward. Going forward until the end. So now what you're going to do is do the same, <coughs> geez, sorry, you're going to do the same thing on the same exact, well, I mean the next row, just like that, any colors you want. And yeah. I'm going to fast forward now. I'm going to do the same thing with the other row. With the, well, the last row. I mean, I'm not using that right color. Now what you're going to do when you get all your throws placed, you're not, <coughs> geez, you're going to not start placing, uh, you're not going to start looming, but you're going to place the connection for all the thing, just like that. It looks like this from where you're probably do, doing it. So yeah. Keep doing this. It's triangles facing towards you, I guess. Because if you're really doing it like this, you're probably looming like this, then they'd be facing towards you. But I'm recording from the side. So yeah. Make sure they're toward you and not away from you, because then that drill in the bracelet. Just like that. So now what you're gonna do is flip the loom around so that the red arrow is facing towards you. Now what you're gonna do is get your um, hook and we're gonna start looming. What you're gonna do is pull this orange back, grab that green band and bring it forward so that, and you'll get that sort of weird with the thing and that's exactly, with the connection, and that's exactly what's supposed to happen. Now what you're going to do, do the same thing with this row, except you have to push some rubber bands back to get this one. And then same thing, bring it forward and connect it to that. I'm going to show you two more times. So yeah, go underneath the band and then grab the green one, bring it forward. One more time, go underneath the orange band, grab the green band and bring it up and hook it to the next one. 
So now I'm going to fast forward. So yeah, next row, do the same thing. Get this rubber band, bring it over, and hook it to the next pin. And again, and the middle's the easiest because you don't have to push back any rubber bands, which is kind of cool. And yeah, you can do this process until the end. And yeah, last one. There we go. So we're going to do the same exact thing with the last row right here. And so yeah. Bring it back. Hook it. And bring it to the next pin. Bring it back. Grab it. And bring it to the next pin. I'm going to fast forward now. So now we're going to finish the bracelet once you got the last row done. In my, I think, in my opinion, that this is my favorite part of the bracelet, is pulling it off. So what you're going to do is bring all these little um, rubber bands to the top. What you're going to do, put your hook through it. I mean... On this end, grab the bands and bring it over to this side here. Just like that. Now grab the other side, bring it to this side. I mean, just like that. What you're going to do is uh, get a rubber band ready, put, put your hook through the intersection, and bring it back, get a rubber band, and like hold it down. What you're going to do is go through, grab, like, grab the rubber hand band with your hook and slide it yeah it's always tricky for me for this part sorry but yeah bring it through the intersection and then on the other other end of the rubber band put it under your hook and then slide this rubber band to like the middle of your hook this is the funnest part just taking it off so now, you're going to take off your bracelet. What you're going to do is grab your hook and then start sliding it off. If you want, you could just pick it up. It's, it's kind of hard, but don't worry. Yeah, I'm going to do it from this way. It might be easier. Start pulling. It's going to start coming off. And you can start to see your bracelet form. Make sure you hold on for the end because it might go flying off. And yeah, here's your bracelet. A triple single. 
And at the end here, so yeah. Now you're done with your bracelet. But what you're gonna do for the last part, you're, well, you're done with the triple single part. Now you just need to make it so that it can fit around your wrist. What you're gonna do is we're making the connection. And I'm making it green because the outline of this is green. So just start by placing a band forward on any pegs. Then keep going forward. And then kids size is usually around, like kid size is usually four or five. I'm doing five. And adult size is usually like maybe seven. And so yeah going making your extension and I'm going to do five one two three four and my last um, rubber band five so yeah and if you're an adult you're going to keep going until you reach seven rubber bands and then so yeah once you've reached your rubber band level you got to take off your, like, take off your triple single from the hook. Make sure it's on your finger so you don't lose it. Put it on the last peg of your connection. And then you're going to start looming the connection. Turn your loom around for the connection. So that the red arrow is facing toward you. What you're going to do is kind of give this a tug back, the triple single bracelet. And then... And grab the bottom band and bring it forward. And so yeah. Do this to the end of your bracelet, even if your connection is large. And so yeah. Go to the end of your connection. And I'm not gonna fast forward on this because it's kind of silly, but And what you're going to do to take this one off is what I usually do is just get your clip, whatever kind of clip you have, and then clip it to the last pin just like that. Like slide your, see, I have a C-clip on it, and I'm going to hold the C-clip with the rubber bands on, and then take the connection off. See now, got it done. Oh, and also, see this little rubber band hanging out? It should be the ones that hold all of them together. You can snap this one if you want, just like, just like that. Now you could put it through. And yeah, there you go. Looks much better. Now grab your C clip. And put it to the other end of the bracelet and hook it to the C clip. Just like that. Onto the C clip. Now you can wear your bracelet and it looks exactly like this. Hang on. exactly like this on your wrist. So yeah. Um, if you guys leave a like and subscribe to my channel. So yeah. Bye.